Welcome to episode 168 of Build Your House, Your Self University by HiU. I'm your host and fellow student, Michelle Nelson, and together we'll learn the basics of home design and construction and demystify the building process so we can better understand our options and build quality dream homes with or without a general contractor. Really quick episode this week about something I recently learned about that can make our lives easier and help us to save on our electricity bills, smart outlets or smart plugs. First, let me tell you the difference between an outlet and a plug. An outlet is a built-in rectangular receptacle with usually two electrical sockets that electricians install into walls, floors, and sometimes drawers. A plug is a small square or rectangular box with sockets, and it plugs into an existing electrical outlet. Plugs are often used when you need more than two sockets. An electrical strip is a variation of a plug. It's kind of hard to explain or imagine, so take a look at the show notes for images of a socket and a plug. Before we get to our quick tip, I want to thank Nikki888 for our latest five-star rating and review. Thank you, Nikki, for writing such kind and encouraging words. I appreciate you for taking the time to do that. So my quick tip this week has to do with smart outlets and plugs. They allow you to remotely control and automate the electricity going to that smart outlet or plug. Smart outlets and plugs work pretty much the same way, but smart outlets are built in and electricians can easily add them to newly built houses. Smart plugs might be a better option for existing homes. Plugs are bulkier and not as attractive or sleek as smart outlets. But one advantage of smart plugs is that they can be moved around from one outlet to another if you need to. Smart outlets are obviously less flexible since they're hardwired into your walls, floors, and drawers, but they give you the seamless, fully integrated feel of a full-fledged smart home. Since this podcast focuses mainly on new construction, I'll be referring to smart outlets. Okay, with that intro out of the way, let me give you this week's quick tip. Have smart outlets installed wherever you plan to plug in power leaching televisions and audio equipment, rarely used electrical appliances, or outdoor and indoor lights like holiday lights that you want to come on automatically. Now, I know you could place old school timers on different lights so that you can switch them on and off automatically at certain times of day, but timers can be bulky. Smart outlets are pretty sleek and they look like ordinary electrical outlets. Just like with timers, with smart outlets, you can program lamps in your bedroom to come on in the morning to help you wake up, or you can create the appearance of occupancy in your house when you're on vacation. And in addition to being able to schedule lights and other electrical appliances to turn on and off at certain times of day, smart outlets have other features that make them even better than timers. You can set up smart outlets so that plugged in lamps automatically dim when a TV is switched on. With smart outlets, you can check your smartphone or tablet to see if you accidentally left an appliance on. Then you can remotely turn that appliance off using your smartphone or tablet. Think about how handy this could be for those of us who sometimes worry about forgetting to turn off a curling iron or flat iron. You can also use Alexa or some other voice-activated home assistant to control your smart outlets. Another cool thing about smart outlets is that they can tell you how much electricity is being used by an appliance. And the outlets themselves can get programmed to shut all the way off at certain times of day when no one is home. This is how you can save on your electricity bill since electrical appliances use electricity whenever they're plugged in, even if the appliance is off. With many smart outlets, each socket can be controlled independently, giving you more flexibility. Many also come with a built-in nightlight and USB ports for charging your phone or tablet. 
Now, you can't control the USB port like you can control the outlets, but it's still a nice feature to have. Smart outlets won't let you control hardwired lights or fixtures. You can only control appliances that are actually plugged into the smart outlet. As you can imagine, smart outlets cost several times more than regular outlets, so you probably won't want to use them exclusively. But think about where they would be most effective and add them there. Again, maybe for your televisions, which are notorious for using significant electricity, even when they're off, or for lamps in a rarely used guest room, or near your bathroom vanity, where curling irons and flat irons will be used. So that's my quick tip for this week. Use smart outlets in smart places in your house to increase livability and safety and to decrease your electricity bill. That's all I have for you this week. I hope that helped you. And I hope you'll join me again next time for the next episode of Build Your House Yourself University by Hi You. Please remember that the purpose of this podcast is simply to educate and inform. It's not a substitute for professional advice. The information that you hear is based only on the opinions, research, and experiences of my guests and myself. That information might be incomplete, it's subject to change, and it may not apply to your project. In addition, building codes and requirements vary from region to region, so always consult a professional about specific recommendations for your home.